Tottenham, Chelsea and co boosted as talk of defenders move to Inter Milan is an exaggeration. Torino director David Vagnotti has played down talk of Tottenham-linked Gleison Bremer signing for Serie A giants Inter Milan this summer. The centre-back made the move to Torino in 2018. He has played 110 times for them, since then across all competitions. The 25-year-old enjoyed his best campaign, to date in 2021-22. He was named as Serie A's best defender at the division's end-of-season awards. Bremer has been heavily linked with a move to the Premier League in recent months. The likes of Tottenham and Chelsea are understood to be admirers of him. Inter Milan also want Bremer, and it was claimed earlier this month that they have an agreement in place to sign him. Vagnotti has denied these reports, suggesting that Bremer is not close to signing for Inter. He was the best in the league, he was voted for, Vagnotti told Sky Sport Italia, via 90 Min. In addition to being a great defender, he is also an exceptional guy and a great leader. There are many clubs interested, but we will see. Inter are a possibility, but to say he is close to the Nerazzeri is an exaggeration. Elsewhere, Tottenham have reportedly agreed a £20 million deal to sign Jed Spence from Middlesbrough this summer. Spence was magnificent for Nottingham Forest on loan from Borough last season, playing a huge role in their promotion to the Premier League. But the 21-year-old has rejected the chance to go back to Steve Cooper's side in favour of a move to Spurs, according to The Guardian. The Fulham Academy graduate will be Antonio Conte's third signing of the summer, following the arrivals of Fraser Forster and Ivan Perisic, with the latter, like Spence, offering the Italian boss further options to play at wing-back. Their arrivals could spell trouble for Sergio Reguilon, Emerson Royal and Matt Doherty in the white areas. Spence will join a wealth of talented English right-backs in the Premier League and will hope to be vying with the likes of Kyle Walker, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Rhys James in the future for a spot in the senior international squad, having made his U21 debut in March.